Yeah, well, this this first stupidity is this this captured the imagination. Wait, you, didn't do the, you didn't do the thing. Yeah, I'm about intro. to. I'm about to. Hold oh, on. Okay. Sorry. Just trying to help. <laughs> All right, let's get that going. The first one, this one, the first story we're going to get to captured the imagination of Twitter in a bad way. We'll get there. But each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a segment we like to call. What the Night. Wrong with you? Oh, yeah, we should probably check in with Goat. I figure um, it's still it's still it's we're not there yet. OK. Uh, there's only two days. <sighs> uh, I, Actually, wait. In Sweden, there's only one day. It's our last chance, everybody. Where, where's I gotta find? Where's the live stream? Uh, is the live stream down? Oh, is the live stream down? Could it be? No, it's the, is, end, the live stream. Does Sweden exist anymore? I can't find the live stream. Is Sweden okay? Let's see. Yeah, it's it's not up anymore. That's ominous. Okay, so I'm I'm going to the, the website as always, and there is no live stream for the goat. It's it's reverted back to, to this. Normally the live stream for the goat is right here, but it's not there. Do they stop on a different day? No. I don't think so. I hope so. Goat officially ends January 2nd. Fuck. The goat won. Well, we're screwed, everybody. We, we've we been... We're, we're fucked. So, 2021. None, none of you brave... Brave souls had had the gumption to save us. We're fucked. There we go. To be fair, flying to Sweden in a pandemic is kind of a big ask. It's also really expensive. Well, don't I have anyone in Sweden who watches this bullshit? Come on, man. It'll, if you want, we'll we'll help you crowdfund a drone for this shit. Come on, help us out here. Smoke <sighs> him if you got him. The goat has won. Everybody, I I feel bad about this. But I also feel pretty bad about this. This was this was all Does of it Twitter. Does it kind of make you feel like the Three Little Pigs allegory is bullshit? A little bit, yeah. The, the fucking straw is like fucking animantium. I know. This was Twitter all weekend. Oh no! Twitter was Bean Dad. Bean Dad. Th- th- there's someone I forget who put it out there, but there's there's a uh, someone tweeted once. That every day on Twitter, there's a main character. Yeah. And the point of it is to not be the main character. Yes. This was John Roderick, who you've probably never heard of. This shit gets wild, everybody. Okay. I don't know. He he has like six different podcasts, apparently. Yeah. First off, let's start off here. I think I'm the only person in America without a podcast at this point. The dude had, um, the dude just proudly posted this on Twitter on Saturday with all, with, with all the pride of yeah. a two year old proclaiming, I put my pants. Oh, um, he really thought he did the thing. Oh, he thought he was bro- Apparently, while he was attempting to assemble a jigsaw puzzle, his nine year old daughter said, um, I'm hungry. Could I have some beans? And he decided to pull up. Well, go do it yourself. Without teaching her how to open a can opener and proceeded to spend the next six hours, according to him. While she was hungry. Attempting to puzzle out with no assistance how to operate a can opener for the first time. Well, he, you know, told her that this was a good learning opportunity, and if she wanted to survive the apocalypse, and if she was smarter. And he put this on, like, like, proud of his own feces, plopped this on Twitter, and Twitter lost their fucking mind over this. Yeah. Um, 
We all had feelings on it. Most of our feelings were, what a fucking asshole. Yeah. But wait, it gets better. God grant me the confidence of a mediocre white man. First off, it, it, it came out that John Roderick was, at one point, a touring keyboardist for Harvey Danger, the, fan, yeah, the, the, the band that brought you Flagpole Sitta. Like um, the worst song. No, and, and somewhere the, the wires got crossed and apparently he was the singer, but he wasn't. So people thought, oh, he did. And I'm like, no, he, he didn't sing shit. He, he was the tour. He probably for, told people that he taught that guy how to sing. Probably. Um, so that started. Then people did a thing that was kind of, it's almost expected now. They searched his name on Twitter and then started searching his name plus slurs. And all of a sudden, a whole new world. Because it turns out John Roderick, in addition to being a dick to his child, um, thinks that um, the N-word, um, anti-Semitism, and rape are hilarious. They're jokes! So yeah, all of, like jokes, right? And he's he's been doing it's not like this wasn't they weren't going back 10 years, although they did go back 10 years. They were as recently as this last year of of shit like this. He just having fun being terrible. Um yeah. but wait. It gets better. Because apparently one of his co-hosts that he shares a Patreon with is Ken Jennings. And if you don't know who that is, he's in the running to replace Alex Trebek on Jeopardy. He's like the biggest Jeopardy winner in history. He won their like Hunger Games of Champions. He won the quarter quill. And Ken Jennings went to the mat. Oh yeah. For being dad. Mind you, Ken Jennings has also posted Stuff like, and I quote, there's nothing sadder than a hot chick in a wheelchair. So he's no prize himself. So let's be clear. He decided he was going to go to the mat for the N-word. So we have this clear, unbroken line yeah. from a dude refusing to feed his child for six hours and posting about it on Twitter to the next potential host of Jeopardy just hand waving just, the N word. It's just a parade of small dick energy. How the fuck? This was the like, week. Imagine the small dick energy that you have to spend six hours feeling intellectual, intellectually superior to a nine year old. I have lived with a nine year old. He was a very intelligent nine year old. I didn't feel the need to pump myself up by putting down that nine year old because. What the fuck? It is. Uh, is. Honestly, like average white dudes just shitting themselves all over the internet is my favorite genre of sci fi at this point. How did th this? In, it was the most unlikely dominoes. I know. <laughs> and suddenly, Jeopardy. It just, just to kick off. 2021. Now, if if the Jeopardy people are the right kind of petty, <laughs> Ken Jennings is like guest hosting right now while they figure out who's going to be the permanent host. If they decide not to take him, like there needs to be a daily double of like this person will not be hosting Jeopardy because of his defense of racist and ableist slurs. Do -do. Do, 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 oh, 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 even more, even better. I forgot. There's another one here. Uh, the McElroys, who apparently have a popular, they're the people behind Monster Factory on YouTube. They, they do videos and stuff. Um, they have a podcast. And apparently they Everybody were using, has a podcast. They were doing, they were using a song by John Roderick as their theme song until they found out about the beans. 
And they uh, decided, let's uh, not use that song anymore. It, it's just, it's this weird, it's like a fucking Mad Libs. Everything that gets fucking involved in this shit. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The only can that can send your career down the chute. I saw someone tweeted. Um, that didn't scan, right? I saw someone tweeted that that, that Bean Dad's uh, daughter spent the next six hours watching him try to figure out how to close a can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the can. Examine its compo compart components. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Um. All right. You know who needs a podcast? That daughter. Everybody needs to get your, get get a fucking podcast. Don't have a fucking podcast. Get a fucking podcast. Everybody's fucking fucking podcast. I don't. I don't have a podcast. You don't get a podcast. All right. Um. I don't know what I would do on a podcast. Talk about your cats, probably. Pretty much. Yeah. Probably. All right. Um. This next one is Jesus Christ. How fucking thick can you be? I've been watching Letterkenny. This is the show I, I talked about it earlier. You really need I've to watch. I've heard so many people say I need to watch that show. It's on and... Hulu, and it's hilarious. Okay. It's it's fucking hilarious. The um, clips I've seen are very good. There there is an insult they use that I've I I I take a great shine to. Um, one of the protagonists of the show looks at someone else and goes, "Your spare parts, bud." Just, just, and, and that's, that's what I thought of immediately when I, when I read this story, because fuck me. Albuquerque man, 21, charged with attempted bank robbery. What, what, he's a bank robber? What's the problem? Oh no, wait for it. 21 year, year old New Mexico man has been charged with attempted bank robbery after he allegedly demanded money from a teller at a bank's drive through window then fled the scene. Criminal complaint filed Thursday says Daniel Hansen is accused of entering Bank of Albuquerque. Federal prosecutors say a, tell him, a teller told him transactions must be handled at the drive-up window. So he went there on foot and wrote a demand for money on a withdrawal slip. A teller backed away and activated the security alarm causing Hansen to flee. So... He tried to rob the bank from the drive. And they were like, sir, there's a pandemic. You have to, you have to, you have to use the drive through. Oh, sorry. I, 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 hold on. He wrote it a withdrawal slip, <laughs> which I want to point out is evidence. That's what we call admissible evidence. See, also the way, the way a bank robbery works is it's the implied threat of violence. <laughs> That makes them give you the money. It's the implied threat of harm to the staff and patrons of the bank that makes them give you the money. So if you're in a car, he was on and foot. They're behind their big old tempered glass window. Oh well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just imagine the, the look on her face. Like what the fuck. Dude, no. <laughs> Can you picture? I, I'm also now picturing like, did he put the withdrawal slip in the little pneumatic tube? <laughs> <laughs> Give me money. I just, no. No. I don't think he. What was the or else? You have to have an or else. What was the right, exactly. fucking or it's else? The implied threat that makes him give you the money. You had no or else. You just had give me money. That's just a request. That's just that's. <laughs> I love how he's like, sir. You have to go around. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh my bad. I don't want to be rude. This actually, I, mean, I swear to God, this sounds like something that from a fucking sitcom, and it really fucking happened. Ross on Friends would 100% do some bullshit like this. But wait. Ross was the fucking worst. But wait. There's more. We got another one kind of like just not. The next step is not clicking. This is from uh, New York. 
J man runs from TSA checkpoint at JFK after officers find loaded gun in carry on. Now this, the TSA is one of the things they actually can find sometimes are guns because people are very stupid about it. And this guy was very stupid about it. You can't put that in your carry on. If you're going to run for from- For obvious reasons. If you're going to run from TSA officers after they catch you with a loaded gun in your carry on at the airport, don't forget to grab your ID and boarding pass before you hightail it out of the security <laughs> checkpoint. A mail it has pass. your address on it, you know. Mail passenger at New York's JFK International Airport learned that lesson the hard way after air officers found a loaded 9mm handgun in his carry on. Why would you think you can do that? In the year of our mm. Lord 2021. Even what better. You Did you just wake up from a coma? According to his boarding pass, the Brooklyn man was headed to Atlanta. Officials were able to catch his friends and interview them before they boarded the flight. So not only did this motherfucker try to mosey on through security with a loaded handgun through the carry-on like it's not a thing, not only did he run away leaving all his identifying uh, documentation, he left his fucking friends there. And I want to point out, if the first time this happens, you don't go to jail. You just have to pay a fine. It's a big one. It's like four thousand. Yeah, it's like four thousand um, dollars for the first time. The first time it happens, you you have okay. to pay a fine, which is like okay. I don't know if you get to keep go get on the uh, the plane after that, but it's, you have to pay a fine if you try and go. That's it. But this dude fucking tears out of there. Like, he's like, I ain't doing no Shawshank Redemption and just fucking flees. <laughs> I'm pretty sure his friends are like, oh, hell no. Yeah, that's Bob. I know where he live. Yeah. I know his shoe size. What do you want to know about this motherfucker? Because we're not we're not friends anymore. Yeah, because they don't get to go on the flight either because they were with him. So now they get everybody gets detained they're, and they're accessories. Look. The TSA does not always function. It's 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 not made, meant to function. It's a terrible agency. But when they give them the bare basics, like an x-ray machine or your carry-on that you have to put through, it's going to see a gun. I, it that's it's not like you can't what what if I put my underwear on top of it? Oh, okay. They 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 it's it you, you it's foiled a, it's them. It's x-ray. It's it's you know like Superman. I wonder if some motherfuckers tried to line their fucking bag with lead to try to be like, I I I'm smart. That bag would be very heavy. No, you can get like lead foil. Can you? Yeah, you can, you can get like a lead foil. I mean, you know, you don't want to fucking have a lead well, foil because. Why? Well, they have, there are purposes for lead foil. It's for radiation shielding. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the, they're, thing, they're legit like you know you don't want to have like a, a thick sheet of it you just need like basic radiation shield it, it's their shoes for yeah it. that makes sense especially Clearly I don't science like especially if you're like trying to go to space you can't have like blocks of lead but you need some sort of radiation shielding so I but I, I wonder if someone someone's like oh I'm smart fucking Superman can't see my shit because you know what they do if there's something unclear in your bag they make you open it. They open it and they go through it. Mm. I've had this happen with my checked bag. They were doing it to everybody. I don't remember. It was a long time ago, but they were just checking everybody's bags. And like, I watched some TSA dude just rifle through all my underwear. <laughs> it was a great day. I just, I love that he thought that he could just fucking meet me out of there. For what was, purpose were you carrying your loaded nine millimeter on the plane? By the way, because there's not a good reason for that. There's no. not a good answer to that question. No, there's not. Just fucking Jesus Christ! 
<laughs> Sorry, Simba was depressurizing. <laughs> Does Grady do that? What? Just like make. No, he does not do that. No, every now and then, Simba, it's like you're letting the air out of something. <laughs> He's getting comfortable and just be like. <sighs> we we've got a collection of these kind of stories this week. It's just like what 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 universe are you fucking from? Um, this next one is from Pennsylvania, and what how, what? Johnstown man stole cop car to find quote soon to be girlfriend. A Johnstown man is facing charges after stealing a police car to visit his quote soon to be girlfriend, according to a criminal complaint. Uh, they say a man called police after he saw a marked Stony Creek Township police car parked in front of his house, shining a spotlight into his home. The man told police that a male in a camouflage sweatshirt came to his front door twice asking for a woman. Troopers say they found Stony Creek Township police car and 41-year-old Chad Moore inside. Moore told troopers he wasn't a cop, but he had, quote, borrowed the car from the police department so he could look for his, quote, soon-to-be girlfriend. Um, Number one, buddy, have you heard of a show called Catfish? Cause I'm thinking, did, did did you meet somebody? Did someone message you on Skype out of the blue on, on the internet? Or is he just stalking some poor girl? Maybe there's that too. Who has probably given him the soft no several times, and he took that to mean keep trying. I wonder, if, uh, the men. How? Why did he end up at somebody else's with a fucking spotlight? Cause that's like that. What? I was waiting to hear that the guy that the homeowner's daughter was, you know, his intended. Moore said he was walking along Main Street when he spotted the police car unlocked in the parking lot of of Soup's Ford. He said he found the keys in the glove box. Okay, well, that's dumb. Who the fuck? But that also doesn't mean it's yours. No, it's not. Did You've seen like Terminator 2 too many times. Yeah. That's that's not how that works. Uh oh, internet behave. Come on, internet. Make sure everything's working right now. My stream still seems to be good, but we've lost. Uh... Hello. There you are. Hello. There you are. Oh, did I lose you? Uh, Skype just Did my decided. There just get lost. Yeah, Skype just just had a. Now I knocked my ear thing out. That's all right. Uh, Skype just decided to to poop itself for a second there. We're back. No problems. All this romantic to... comedies have lied to you. Yes, they have. Committing a felony is not a panty dropper. <laughs> and if it is, you don't want that girl. No, you don't. You don't want to be in that relate. That's that's going to be a relationship that is. Yeah. Like, dude, I was in that relationship briefly in college. It's not good. This is not this is not how you woo a girl, even if she is actually interested in you. Just get some fucking flowers and ask her to a movie. Like my own personal what the fuck is wrong with you story. Like girls going back to college, back home from college, and she's trying to take a snake with her pet snake. And she wasn't allowed to because, you know, you're not allowed to take a fucking snake on the plane. This is pre 9-11, which tells you how fucking old I am. Um. So she tried to sneak it in. And I was there with her. So I'm like. Did she put it down her pants? Somewhere like that. And I'm like, well. Um, Is that how you got the idea for the show? No. But I, I'm still I'm sitting there like, well, this is probably a bad, bad, bad yeah. call to be involved here. This this is not going to work out. This, Did she this, get caught? Yes. Yes. Does she have a reality show now? <laughs> no, but uh, next one is this one is just straight up like y you're one notch above serial killer on this one, like not That's quite what there. We just did. No, no, this one it's not quite there. But this one is like, dude, I could see your ass being in a slasher movie, like because you fucking look like you 
I'm not talking about the way the face. I'm just when you see this dude, you'd be like, yeah, because this hair is a choice for one thing. That is a decision he made. That Ooh. that that is a hair he made. That is a call he made. It's like the redneck his, riffraff. <laughs> with his with his with his personal his personal grooming there. A bloomer man arrested early this year, accused of hanging dozens of pornographic images and explicit notes. Spent nearly fifty years in prison. Uh, David Luneman, sixty, was charged with eight counts of identity theft, harm reputation, property, and eight counts of disorderly conduct. Um, Luneman allegedly placed near one hundred pornographic images and homophobic notes on public trails in the Chippewa County forest, uh, like the Ice Age Trail. For three years, at one point, as many as 42 pornographic images were found at one time. All of the notes in the trails referenced employees of a Chippewa Falls business. In June, an investigator with the Chippewa County Sheriff's Office said he was able to get a picture of Luneman on a trail camera. Um, he said Luneman was wearing camo and had a backpack, gardening gloves, and a headlamp. Authorities say early this month, Luneman hit a deer with his motorcycle while wearing the same clothing. Oh, man. Early October, the same investigator reviewed surveillance photos. Um, search warrant of Luneman's home turned up a rolling bookcase, which hid a room containing pornographic magazines, index cards, and stencils. He has denied the allegations. First of all, who has the fucking time and energy to put into this shit? Yeah. This is like evil scrapbooking. <laughs> yeah. This, this is what this is. How does this become your hobby? Just like for three years, you are posting this shit to harass these In the woods. In the woods. What the fuck? Just like. You know, we have an internet. <laughs> Not that I'm encouraging or, yeah, or less... anything like that, but like. Th that's some Amish revenge porn. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's some unnecessarily analog shit. <laughs> You're not wrong. I just, I... Oh, I, okay, look, I have plenty of stuff I have to take care of around this house with these pets. And, and you know all this shit and the show and the streaming and all I'm like and that's that's just me being self-employed here I can't even imagine it well I can't imagine because Sarah Sarah has to do you know the the 95 at the pets she has barely any time to get a shit done who has time to do this who is who is the I mean, technically I do but why but would I you imagine wanting to because if you're given the option if you have the time to do something like this it's like, okay, you could learn a foreign language, um, learn to play an instrument, um, watch an entire television series a day, or harass people with porn in the woods like a fucking serial killer. I mean, I guess as long as he's getting his steps in. <laughs> Not fair. I almost shot whiskey out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I, I never get my steps in. <laughs> the dark side of Fitbit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just my Pokemon Go. I mean, it's like at least he's getting out of the house. Like just go and hunt a fucking Squirtle Bop or whatever the fuck those things are. I mean, at least he has a hobby. Now this is the one that's just wow. If convicted, Luneman could spend nearly 50 years in prison because all of those are separate individual counts. Yep. You stupid, stupid shithead. Fucking. Well, like, where was he getting? Like, was he drawing these people? Uh, was he hacking their accounts? I, it's, or like, fucking, well, apparently he had porn magazines he was like like i said right, evil scrapbooking also, but it also it, they said all the images featured someone who worked people that worked at one business uh, this, this is, uh... 
Okay. Uh, they reference, not featured, reference. Okay. Reference them. Still, Jesus Christ. What happened to my light? Uh, our final one this week. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. This is the not funny part. We remember what happened in Nashville recently. There was there's a dude, there's a bomb in a truck, took out AT&T because the fucking 5G crazy But he's nonsense. not a terrorist because he's a white dude. That's right. Well, he's just a trouble <clears throat> Well, somebody saw that and thought, wouldn't it be hilarious if... <clears throat> Probably not. Box truck driver charged in Rutherford County Sunday incident. Man has been identified, arrested, and charged with an incident Sunday afternoon in Rutherford County where audio, similar to that of audio played on a loudspeaker before the Nashville bombing, was heard by church members and convenience store customers coming from a box truck. I heard about this. Where the first county charge at Steve Craig says James Turgeon, 33, Holy Grove Road, charged two counts of felony, filing a false, false report, and one count of tampering with evidence. During the course of the investigation, it was revealed Turgeon made a similar announcement at King's Chapel Independent Missionary Baptist Church and at Jefferson Pike in Denway Chapel Road, while church was in service. Um, Sheriff Seppi said uh, they stopped Turgeon, who was driving in Wilson County. He was detained for questioning. They used a robot to check the truck. Nothing there. After a check, no device was found. Craig said detectives found Turgeon allegedly damaging the speaker system wiring intentionally, resulting in a tamping with evidence charge. Was, was he really trying to say, oh, no, wait, that speaker doesn't work. See? Well, yeah, no, it's, it's, that stereo doesn't even work. This is no sound coming out of it. It's, it's fine. It's... Dude. What the fuck were... What was the goal here? Like, did, did he think people were going to be like, oh, okay, all right, you're making... It's like, it's like, it's not like a family guy bit, Okay. You can't do cutaway gags in real life, especially not this. Sometimes on Twitter, <clears throat> I will make a joke about having been raised Catholic, and people that don't know me will think, this sounds like a good opportunity to post a novella about what I hate about organized religion. Yeah. It's my favorite. This is that brought to like the nth degree. This sounds like a good opportunity to terrorize the Baptists. What the fuck? Or leave them the fuck alone. What? Why? On a, on a, what the hell were fucking dude? The church is probably aren't even open that much. Like, they, well, I guess they were because people heard it. They shouldn't be. I don't, did he, I, I'm like, this is one of those not thinking. What was the desired, what was the end goal right. here? What was the goal? D did he expect, did, did this end with and then everybody clapped? Was that what you were expecting? Because... Everybody ran outside in a panic and you waved at them and then they went, oh, ho, ho, you got us. Oh, that guy's uh, such a kidder. Oh, man, let's all go have beers. That's that's what we're going to do. Uh, no, that's not that's not how that you're, you're going to jail. They, yeah. they will arrest you because right now we're all fucking terrified. Because the thing is, that's still terrorism. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Because the rational, how did Scully put it? The rational motive of terrorism is to promote terror. So if your goal is to copycat a terrorist attack to scare people, that's terrorism. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you, you can't like jump out. You're not like fucking Alan Funt. I don't know who's going to get that joke, but you can't just, <laughs> like 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 a bunch of well, people just in the chat just said you're not Ashton Kutcher. So who? <laughs> so you know generational we got you both covered <laughs> somebody so I, I, so i'm thinking somebody out there just heard alan Funt and went oh, I, I remember that shit <laughs> do you know alan Funt and did then the, ask their granddaughter how to make the video go did you know alan Funt did a pornographic version of candy camera no yeah he did it was really sad and what kind of inappropriate like? it was it was really inappropriate it yeah yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was not. It was in his later That's years. Not the time I want to be pranked. I don't know about you. It, it was in his later years too, which made it even worse because he's like he was like getting on in years, 
and it was it's the creep factor just yeah it was yeah yeah see i i don't remember this but all i can think in my head is that the title should be dick doesn't go there <laughs> <laughs> we need to find it <laughs> So yeah, I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is um uh you can't joke about this shit. You can, but please don't. Yeah, I mean, if you yeah, because we're gonna take it seriously. Just like please don't be a dick. It shouldn't be that hard. Um no pun intended. We learned <laughs> we learned there's better shit to do with your free time than fucking evil scrapbooking that's what the fuck it is i wonder if he went to like michael's for this shit version of the blair witch project <laughs> um we've learned that just because the keys are in the cop car doesn't mean it's yours it's not like one of those bikes where you just ride share shit that's that's not how that works they have that with scooters here, but it's it's not. No, we learned if you leave all of your identifying uh, uh, documents behind and your friends, um, they really are going to find you. Where the fuck are you going to go? You're not getting on a plane. No. That's for sure. Um, we've learned that the the the, the premise of a bank robbery is is the the important underlying foundation is the or else yeah without the or else you're just you're panhandling with extra steps yeah is what or else is a vital component yeah and finally we've learned look if he, if you have a history of being a dick, don't call attention to yourself. He ended up deleting his fucking Twitter, being dad. The whole yeah, the, the whole, whole thing. fucking because it was just so bad. Not before everybody got the screenshots. And like your child being hungry mm. is not, in fact, a great opportunity no. for you to jerk off to your own intelligence. Just feed the kid. Just just fucking feed. What the fuck, man? Teacher had to use a can opener. I mean. It's it's kind of it's kind of nice that we open 2021 with being a dick doesn't pay. That that was kind of that we Let's could keep that energy for the whole year. Yeah. Goat's still there though. <laughs>